Sora Choppy, am I right? This is sad. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Well, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Blame it, William. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I... Literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Wait a minute. Yeah, what missing girl? Because on this timeline, Rachel girl? isn't I don't missing know her name. as far as we I just know. read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Uh... Yeah, it might be. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe hey guys, how's it going in the chat? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken.
also, Patty, compared to last week's stream, is this stream better, like, visually, so far? Because it seems to be choppy sometimes, but it's fine for the most part, I think. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Alright, so now that we can actually walk, let's see how this stuff looks. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart. She can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. It's like making friends through Twitch. Oh, that's the joystick Whoa. thing you move with your mouth. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. There's the old Chloe. I don't know if she wants water, but I want to see what's around. I'm sorry. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Well, this is heckin' That's sad. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? Oh, there's the picture. She can't even feel the grass now. Or the drawing. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. So if I didn't take the picture, I wonder what would happen with that. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, right, she has to later. use that ventilator just to breathe. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Oh, mighty morphine machine. <laughs> she reminds me of uh, Power Rangers. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Drink up, Buttercup. Uh, Margaret Kevin was at the movies, I think. I don't oh, know man. where he still is. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Oh, okay. I don't ask what she remembers. Seems like yesterday, because it was, I think. No, it's still today. You're right, because she is, but I want to know what she knows. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. 
I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Yeah, which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They do love her. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I do bet they are, but I wonder if there's a way that I can, can help. They Pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, Oof. you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. Oh, uh, damn. All right, I'll see you later, Margaret. It would be sweet to chill out together and Watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. This is so freaking sad. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Hey chat, how's it going? Thanks. I, uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Yeah, you know, the butterfly thing that we de deal with. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Sorry, oh, the TV's over here, okay. So then search through everything. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Okay, that's the last Maxis. thing I didn't check. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Is she about to trip or something? No more bombs shaking my head, I know, right?
<laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. We're, this episode is so much sadder than the other one. Oh, now my game is being a little Man, choppy. Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Yeah, compared to episode one, two, and three, this has to be the freaking saddest. These bills should all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good, or I'd be as scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh, Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. I doubt that Chloe's mad. Is she mad at me for not but staying in touch? I just don't ask. She should be. I have no excuse. Oh, you're back, Patty. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Yes, I'll ask about Being Joyce. around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Ooh. Uh. They don't know who that is. They're probably still being pricks, but the weather, that's what matters. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl. I was picking Rachel up, Amber. Uh, Kevin. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Ooh, I don't even so like to think about it. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, 
I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. It's pretty close to the last time. Oh, what the fuck? Love you. Didn't expect her to be saying that. Yo, why is she being so nice to me? What did I do? Yeah, I have to get the medicine. Uh... Wait, what? Hey Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw a TV at me. Wow. Why is she being such a bitch? So in the last episode, we were able to help her out. And now Max is being a little cunt. Okay, Patty. Sounds good. Don't forget to water the plant. Yeah, I still want to know how that affects the game. Uh, Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for her daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom's a badass like you. Yeah, right? I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so call me back. So people are way different now. I, I thought I checked all the messages. Oh, uh, Patty's not playing with me. I thought I checked all the messages. Oh, Nathan. Uh, no, this is just a single player story game. I might be streaming with them, maybe over the weekend, play some Dead by Daylight, but I'm not sure. Yo, yo, Max, you around? In the dark room, developing shots, sweet. Uh, so now she's friends with Prescott's? What is going on? They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. I just want to know how this all connects. Just uh -oh. shoot me now. That's where all the cereal was. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Ooh, Brian is dead by daylight, yeah. Me, you, Choices Patty, of food and one other boss. person to play. We can find someone from Siren Stream or Oh rip the stream being choppy. Okay, so it seems fine sometimes. If it's ever choppy, I don't know why it is. <laughs> so sorry about that in advance. Everything's so dark and dreary. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah. Me neither. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Just shoot me 
I'm just reading your message, Patty. Uh, oh, nice. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, tr trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse, but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. I wonder if her headache's See, connected getting to mushy. my powers. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures oh, of us when we were kids. Right oh, fuck. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Oh, wait, I already does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. It's about to be heckin' sad, boys. I don't know why I keep going to this side. Oh, I'm about to be able to like look at some pictures and teleport Is back in time okay? again. Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Why is this episode so sad? One and two were like, oh, hell man. yeah. There we are making pancakes. Three was good until the end. I love that shot of us. And then it's just been sad ever it's since. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. In some senses it Me was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. The last two episodes are sad. Fuck. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I yes, understand. I do. But does it make All you have to do sad? is crank up the IV to 11. Wait a fucking second. She. Oh. Oh god. Alright, before we do this part, Shannon. Okay, so Chloe. The one that's in the bed right now. Her and Max were old friends. And when Max came back to the city, they were hanging out and stuff, doing whatever. And then, at the end of episode 3, you go back in time, prevent her father from dying. And because that happened, she is now injured. And then, now I have to debate whether I want to kill her or not. Of course I want to say refuse, but at the same time, like, is she about to get fucking mad? 
Also, how is this t gonna affect the timeline? Because if I go back and fix everything, then this won't even matter. I'm gonna refuse. I don't want to have to deal with trying to kill her. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William, I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. I, I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. <laughs> Chloe. I am never leaving you again. What's gonna happen? I'm sorry, William. Oh, fuck. I don't want to do this. Don't make me go back in time! Oh, that's really blurry. No. Come on. how the decision will affect me though. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. No, this is about to scare the fuck out of me though. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Now, where are those keys? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't you. blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe. I have no idea, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Alright, so Shannon, just so you know, she just went back in time so the father would die. So Chloe would have a better life.
was a quick 180 though, because she was like, went back in time and then immediately just switched back. I'm trying to blame her, I'm just saying it was kind of fast. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yes, finally you learn how to use powers to make you go back in time. Hey guys, and welcome to my stream. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. I still don't feel bad about anything that happened with him. Alright, hang on. Screen size, advanced video. Who should tell me what each of these did? Uh, don't need shadows that much. Vertical synchronization, I guess so.
I'm just hoping that this maybe fixes the problem. Stop going so fast. Alright, uh... Wait, your friend... Okay. I, I hope we could all go. Because I don't want to have to pick between him or Chloe. Stop blinking. So many messages to read. Don't go away. I'm waiting for this little icon on my screen to go away. Oh, uh, this is Kate, and she tried to kill herself, but I saved her, so, yes. Just so you know, Shannon. Alright, that conversation's never important. Secrets, what kind of secrets is she talking about? girlfriend let me know fashion makeover she doesn't seem the type for fashion makeovers it looks like David finished his car repairs maybe there's some new clues around Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. I wouldn't be surprised. He's a dick, and they're dicks. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Oh, there's more things there. Now look up. I promise I'll me meow Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Uh, let's see. Wait. Okay, hang on. I want to just figure out if I could duel Patrick real quick. Or Patty. Is the command not set up? Hang on, if I do. Oh, I have 2,732 slices of pepperoni. Oh, yeah. Everyone in chat should have a shit ton of slices of pepperoni because I made them really easy to get. So, if you also hover the mouse on your screen, you should be able to interact with something that'll let you scratch off stuff and get more points. And the points aren't really used for anything. And I can follow you on Instagram, Twitter, shout you out. Or you can ask me a question. You can also play two games. There's a bunch of different things. Could have swore I set up dual. If I didn't, I'll set it up for the next one. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Uh, try doing. Hey, I'm gonna try. Free for all. I can't even find an object to break it. Yeah, free for all is not gonna be that great because uh, it's just. I wonder if David is people. going to the party. What the hell did 
did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Oh, no problem for the pepperoni. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. There's another gun missing? Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. Oh, it's really I shocking. wish Chloe could too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. All right, I'm gonna see. Video settings. I bring everything to. High. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. I love you too, Shannon. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. This shit fucked up. All right, so the arena has been Score. Off, but we could still Back do to Chloe now. Heist. If you want to type heist in with the exclamation mark, Patty, you can do that too. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. And Heist should be one player if you want to do that. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. Yeah. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. Yes. I had no idea think? what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Okay, I don't know why heist isn't working. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. Whatever, I'll it figure that so stuff ridiculous. out today. It'll work I'm by so next week. I'm so sorry. Anyway. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you the for coming up to the roof to I talk think. me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, 
There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? Very, very You better true. take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson. They, they... Even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Alright, hang on. I will do something real quick. Try to figure out Nightbot. Uh, mini games. Yeah, you typed them in right. Ah, uh, challenge or duel is challenge, and not duel. But heist is heist. So if we do, <coughs> excuse me. Challenge. Let's see. App Patty. Alright, so now you can challenge people. Cool. Is that all I was gonna do? Oh. Also, wanna link my phone. I'm trying to set up my remote control so I could do stuff for my phone. There we go. Ah, oh, damn, you won, Patty. Alright, let me just see how many frames it freaking dropped. Alright, 16%. That's way better than the 46% frames dropped last time. Alright, so now we are back. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. I don't think get well is quite apropos. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. I want to look around at everything before I click stuff. I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Sit. I'm not just gonna randomly sit. Wait, what? Oh, I'm not leaving just yet. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Oh, Shannon, type, uh, type. Challenge, like exclamation mark challenge, and then at Patty Quinn. 
Or no, and then just Patty Quinn to challenge him. You have to type his full that name. That is so though. sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. River? S. Maybe it means rivers. Like siren rivers. Oh, rip Patty. You're out of. You're still recovering, so you're out of commission. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Alright, so let's have a conversation hey, first. For it this is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a, uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. Alright, so all now I feel happy moments. that I didn't do that. Why do you think she acts so mean? Uh, she's insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, I'll Max. text it to you, Shannon. Like, so you can just copy and paste it in. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Ooh. Yes. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. Girl, With everything that's going you know on, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. Oh, she called me an angel. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so... That might be a start. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Uh... Let's talk about the Vortex Club. I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. I don't know why it's not challenging for you, Shannon. Uh, maybe try not putting the at symbol. Oh. You have to make sure that P and the Q are capitalized. Because that's how he spells his name. So if you type at, it should pop up. Type at and P, and his name should pop up as an option to click on it. It is so... Max! Uh, let's talk about, you know, Kate. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. Oh, yes! And... 
What happens if we say no boys allowed? No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Right, I'm not sure why you weren't able to fight Shannon. Oh, press the follow button and you'll get an instant 50, I think, points. And then you might be able to fight him. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Uh... I saw Victoria's letter. <laughs> me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and... We had a... We... Yeah, she's insecure, she... I'll go with that. If... I... I don't think get well is quite apropos. Alright, let's go. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Uh, Shannon, are you watching on your phone or on your laptop? on your phone, uh, tap the screen, and then in the top right corner there should be a heart. Hey Max, how you doing? Oh, hi Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. Very long story. actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're alright? It's weird, just... Being on campus, like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. Well, so I hope you'll be there to it. celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but... It's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still Hot a piece of teacher. garbage. Gross. Thank you for the follow. You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait Shit. until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Alright, so real Let's quick. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. So, Shannon, I have no idea why the thing's not working for you. You should just be able to. That challenge. Let's see. Let's see if the at symbol works or not. 
Oh yeah, let's show some love in the chat. Uh, I got just basic emotes on this. No, I'm challenging you, challenging you, Margaret, uh, not pizza taco. So, exclamation mark challenge, and then my name. In the first episode, you could, like, talk to everybody. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Good. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. I'm working on it. I miss her laugh. fell off my board. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. He's so Sad. weird. Makes me mad. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Everything is changing. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. As Michelle Grant. I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared, too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor... He has such an... He's so weird. I forgot to check what photos I could take. Probably missed that. Some of those squirrels with that. Huh. Let's just walk around and see. We all need to look out for each other this these world. days. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? Oh, so you can say that, but then not take a picture of him. Okay. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, I'm Brooke right here. doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke, how are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Rip this fucking challenge thing. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Hey, Squirrel. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to Yeah, what? Why don't you guys get together and make the cute little tail so I can take a picture of it like that? Oh, okay, so there's one of them. One photo for posterity. Okay, where did these rocks come from? This is too Blair Witch for me. Alright, I probably could go inside soon. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Bring it on home, bro! Time to go clean up graffiti from those kids. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Yes, yes I do. Animals, he seems to know I definitely about have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Beached whales. How how can anybody explain all those poor beached Wait, whales? Have they been beached My dad this? was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they. they just cry. They're not alone. That's what I'm gonna go with. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. 
You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. All right, that's nice, well, I'm glad Samuel. to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Well, this is when I get my photo off. Margaret and Shan, you guys probably need to grant access for Daniel's channel. What do you mean by that? There's one squirrel. Get that food in your belly. shape even though they never did that. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, still gotta find Nathan next. Just clear all these pages. Wednesday. Uh, back. Like for me, with the live emotes and streamlabs. Oh, I might need to make them regulars. Samuel misses his squirrels. Good to see you out and about, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'll, I'll let and you I do swear, it after this is done. It's not about that petition you didn't sign. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. It's gonna be beyond science. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Prophecy. That's what so, I'm gonna go with. You don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. I know a lot that you don't. Let me tell her about time travel. What about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. Oh, I thought the you were going to tell her about The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Yeah. Too, too bad she didn't figure that out sooner. I was it's looking okay, for though. Nathan Prescott and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. <laughs> I didn't think you were friends. All right, hell no may not give me the answer, so you know him better. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. 
Interesting. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Um, Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Principal Wells. So why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? Prescott's aren't fucking going to. To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. Right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. You're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Alright, so there was a conversation thing. So I'm gonna go back and see what that was. Oh, it's choppy on my screen, so it might be hella choppy on yours. Sorry. You out and about, Max. Hello. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking to. I was looking. Mr. Pro you probably. I've tried. I know. Yes, he does. I was hope. If I. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. You and... Dying animals. You think that's <clears throat> why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Mark. Who... Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. Sorry, keep um, muting now. my mic so I can. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the vort. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I'm gonna have to change they that point system money from because car washers. Uh, that's no, a they lot of don't. Pepperonis. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just. I hear you. I'm sorry. It's all. So, yeah, the points. I wasn't trying to get that many points out. Um, but I'm happy you guys are getting a shit ton of points. It's way better than. Just like random people getting a bunch of points. Nope, oh, speak. The coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. 
but now you Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell ninja mode. So yeah, I don't want to give that many pepperonis out to other people because like, for certain things it only costs like 150 pepperonis for me to follow someone. I was kind of hoping it'd be less than that, but that's so a shit So lame, time. they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. What she got to say? Ah, oh, his room number is 111, okay. Thanks, mate. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. He said, uh, my points, but I've been getting plus six bagel bites. Has it been telling you that? Or bagel bits. I purposely made a bagel bits. Family. That's why you're so hot. Because you care. Oh. Trevor and Dana. So does it tell you when you get points or what? Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? The fuck? Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Yes. I agree. Oh, well. That's interesting. Zach or Logan? Who knows? There should be a chest, a chest a that pops up every once in a while. And then you can click it to get like 10 points. What are you watching on, watching on Patty? Oh, fuck, now I need to spooky. find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. Oh, that's a lot of typing. I'm gonna go read that. No, I don't think you type chess. I think it just pops up every like 10 minutes and you get to click on it. But if you're on your laptop, can you hover over the screen and see if there's like a little overlay that comes up if there is then that's how you get like redeem a different set of points it's weird they're both stream labs things but there's two different sets of points like one gives you bagel bites and the other one gives you slices of pepperoni it's freaking weird it confuses me so don't ask me how it works all right so i'm gonna read this now Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. That won't happen if you if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap, like breaking in a black hole at night. How'd she know? I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. Or I know it happened, okay. Uh, I hoped you would get back, get her back on the right track. Fuck me reading out loud on stream. It's fucking annoying. But... The, it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless both of you, unless both want to play bad. But she can't blame David now. Yes. That's so cute and ironic. <laughs> I can't believe Nathan still has it around. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. If you want one from Leica, it costs about 40 grand, I think. Or no, that was- Remember, oh, God, you're on enemy turf oh, now, remember. Max. 
Yeah, I think that might have been Hong Kong money. That is so Chloe. Oh my God, Chloe. That's not what I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be like a second half to the letter. Not Chloe laying on the floor. I don't know why I would turn this off. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Rip. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I should take some pictures of some damn, some dead animals. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. I feel like I'm gonna take his tortured subjects last. way too much. Nope, let me look. These films all have a dark pattern. Alright, time to look on the computer. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Rip. Why is it still up? Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Well, that didn't really help. Oh, a gun manual. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... He has everything in here except peace of mind. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. So wait, I already opened that. Ah. Uh -huh. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Hey, nice job, Patty. I think it's open to everyone to do. I'm not sure if it's just. Let's find out what like you're hiding. Person. So does it pop up on the screen? Oh or yes, does it little pop phone. Up in you chat? are mine now. Because I think it's like a fifty percent chance. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Yeah, there's like a fifty percent chance that you'll get ten bagel bites. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. That's pretty cool. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? We're not in his room. How the fuck is he gonna know? You're such a nosy bitch, Max! Stop right there, Nathan! Make me ho! Ooh. Max! Yes! I got this! Get the fuck out of my face! I love that shirt. Uh, you are so fucking dead! Uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, oh! Oh, fuck. See, I don't want to stop Warren, but I don't want him to get in trouble. So, fuck, if I also stop him, he's probably gonna be like, 
Blah, 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 blah. This is a hallway. Yes, it is. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. There's no cameras. Nothing happened. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. I agree. So we shall leave. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Yeah, no police. Not yet. <laughs> Uh, Please, no. so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. Don't get him in trouble. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. I feel like Chloe and Max should get together. But at the same time, I kind of want them to get together. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Well, how the plot thickens. So if we kept beating Nathan, I wonder what would have happened. Because, like, would he have been in the hospital? Like, would someone have stopped him and then Warren would have been in trouble? God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Shut the fuck up about yes. your damn gun. Yeah, gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So, let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. some picture opportunities here. Uh, yeah, that was a Rachel. Should I check in the RV? Yeah, probably. Wheelchair. Alright, so there's a whale. Can I even go down that far, though? There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. Well, that would be nice. This is where my nightmare started. 
Yeah, the lighthouse is all the way up there. No worries, sign. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? Is one of their tails sticking up? Like, which one can I take a picture of? It blows my mind that yeah, I was so. just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Getting all those achievements. I miss so many photo opportunities, though. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Take the trash out sometime, dude. So many things this is there. where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Well, that's good. Good doggy. Uh, yeah, good thing I didn't kill the dog, too. That would have sucked. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, the Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Hmm. Let's apologize. Maybe he'll say something Listen, nice. Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always huh. starts with just a little. Beach Chloe Atty. here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. It's only I, been a day? I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... D dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me! We were all freaked out. Now we're, we're even cool. now. Yes, we are, Patty. Please. Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Uh, yeah. We gave him a bone. Chloe and I gave your doggy a bone when we... So you're the ones who let him out? Oh, fuck. I you knew I shouldn't have said that. And let my dog out? What the fuck? Wait. That's not what... 
Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. But yeah, I know I'm here to find Rachel. Day, but it's so Rachel isn't me. in here, and I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Well, looks like I'm going back in time and picking that he's a cute doggo. Whoa! Get off of me, motherfucker! <laughs> yes. I have to rewind now. Yeah. I, of course, I have to rewind. Go fast. Just Listen, Chloe, this. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Price is wrong. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Uh, watch your mouth, yes. <laughs> Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. I... I should listen, I guess. No fight, though. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh! I'm sorry. Listen, Frank. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I... Yeah, yeah, well... Come on, f All right. Frank. Oh, yeah. I... Finally. I... So much skipping. D dude, she was... We're only... Shit. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my yard. What the fuck? That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait. Seriously, Frank, don't. Are you serious? I gotta do it again. Listen, Chloe, I can tell you for a fact. Max, be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck up. Occasionally, I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? I'm just trying to help. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That uh, figures. Alright, cool. Okay, there, you're safe. Now what do you want? Just the- Oh! I'm sorry. Listen. And then we just yeah. do this again. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I. Finally, I. I. Dude, she. We're all. Shit. All right. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. And that's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. 
Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? What are you hiding? Because, uh, I don't really want him to know that we were in the RV. The bracelet, he seemed pretty fucking set on not doing anything about that. You know Rachel, yes, we've established that. But what is he hiding? What are you hiding, Frank? You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me or who I am. Or what I can do, you understand? Huh? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late, she's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit! You were part of her problem! Always trying to take her away from me! Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Do not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Oh, fuck. Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! Gosh! That was a quiet you ass shot. You shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... We just want the code for your account book. Now! Define! Whatever! Just just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me, alright? There. I don't know now why leave me alone, that right? just, just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance or No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Well, now Chloe can't be a bitch about me fucking not using the gun. Nope, that's Shit. the one I want. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Alright, chat, do you think I should change it, yes or no? I will just waltz around. Why? So, Patty, Shannon, do you guys think I should change or no? Or okay. whoever is in my uh, chat, Margaret. Get this baby out of my leg. Be gentle, Frank. You don't know? Alright, well, I guess that's good enough. Shouldn't change, good. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Investigate. I feel like the Sherlock's home game now. Gather information or gather info on a character by selecting all the current clues for each section. Oh. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Deselect. Oh, and then I have to. Okay. <sighs> no. This is not working. All right. I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book. If I could decipher the damn code names. Wait, so should I look at it first? Hmm, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Wait. 
face to quit. Should I look at that first? All right, let's look at David's shit first. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. What is this? David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Um, okay. Let's see what... I don't know what to select. This makes no sense, Max. No, it doesn't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Oh, so I got all three for this one, or was it... Oh, I have to select three, okay. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Yeah. Wrong clues. I had a feeling that wouldn't be right. Those clues are not related. It's two pictures of Kate. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. So, no, not this one. Nathan. Uh, coordinates. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Okay, so we're just trying to see if he was he was under Nathan's okay wait what? Damn. I I must have missed something. Okay, whose car is that? License plate pictures, okay. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Oh. Spies are us. Oh, no. This is not working. Nope. That's, that's not what I wanted. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. This is fun and watching me that's struggle. that's all she wrote. Oh. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Oh wow, she just has a bunch of new pictures now. That's cool. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? So all these are just pictures. Fuck. No. This is not working. Wait, oh wait, can I look at these? <sighs> Who else was David tracking here? Alright, just reset everything. Hmm. So Who does this car belong to? S X F T that's all I should need. Should be that one, but let's just make Why sure. the hell are you following these people? Yep, another car David was tracking. So this one. This one. This? Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Okay, this is just sad, Max. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. I aye, aye, Captain. Be Here we come, shit. Rachel. Oh, so we pick which line to go through? I thought I'd have to do every line. Fuck. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. Or maybe she didn't come back. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but 
I don't think he would hurt her. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? I just don't know how these clues would be connected. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Those clues are not related. A bunch of these aren't going to be related. I could use that code we got from Frank to figure out the code names in the account book. Yeah, I figure that's... No, that's not what I want. Space. Oh, wait. What? Oh, can I look here? Uh... Where are the clues, though? Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. But how am I supposed to fucking unlock this? All she does is look at it. This is like goddamn math. I suck. This makes no sense, oh, Max. Sense. I could use that code we got from Frank to figure out the code names in the account book. Hey, where's, give me the fucking code. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. I need the damn clues. Hey, Max, the, like... see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Did our plan have to include shooting Frank in the leg? Alrighty. Nathan's clues. Why don't we figure that out? I have to analyze Nathan's messages. All oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Good, good. All right. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Con connect four things? Jesus Christ. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? October 4th. Okay, so that might be useful. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Phone number, home address, cell phone, GPA. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. The thing is, why can't I unlock it? Okay. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Oh, rip. I gotta actually fucking... Let's... Start hacking. Okay. So, just a shit ton of ones. Really? Apply. Oops. Bad code. All right. Fuck this, man. Nine five three five. Okay. Nine, five, three, five. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. I was really hoping it would be, though. The fuck are those numbers? <laughs> All right, zero, zero, five, eight. Really, that's easy enough to read. You locked it, dumbass. 
Wait. P U Q or P U K. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just write this shit down. Oh, phone, stop going so slow. All right, so we got a eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight. Okay. Eight seven eight nine. Okay, cool. Thank God. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. All right. Hold up, need a G. Okay, cool. Uh, Binch, you sold me water, asshole. What the fuck? Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Thank you, Patty. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan. Boy? It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. All right, well. Which one's the one with, uh, Password and stuff though. Oh, like this. Yes, I'm a the fucking game dumbass. is on. <laughs> now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Oh. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. So I'm assuming I'm just got to. Oh. So to look at that. Okay, this is just sad, Matt. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Uh Nathan is a rot. Bulldog oh, dash hair. Okay, so this one, for show. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Don't see it there. <clears throat> if Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. So there's, he's on that one. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. It's probably on this one, but I could have missed something. Two deals yeah. with Nathan on the same day? Party supply. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. All right, tap. Oh, fuck off, Nathan. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Oh, my God. I'm gonna have to look through all of this. All right. So much shit to look at. Jesus. Alright. Nope, didn't want to select it, that's okay. Oh, uh... No, that's not what I wanted. 
back, go back. I need more. Alright, so I feel like if they're asking for it, then it's not gonna be her. Wait, okay. You home, got to party tonight. <coughs> okay. Alright, what's on these papers? Uh, it was October 4th, I think. So, this one. Oh, wait, is there a date stamp on these? That's on the 30th. The 4th. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? my chair so damn squeaky. That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. He, uh, Why? He was there on the fourth here. Looks like this isn't the right combination. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. I'm trying to find the ones from October 4th. Not much out there. It's all September 30th, though. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. Oh, no. This is not working. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. All right, so let's look for another one of these. So this infamous party was the fourth. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Oh, at 11 p.m. So it can't be a later date. Wow, I feel like this part of my stream is heckin' boring. I still feel like it's this one. Cause that's a lot of drugs. But wait, what time was that at? 540, yeah, that would make sense. Uh... Okay, so that was after. That was the seventh. Seventh. Fourth. Okay. Which one of these did I originally put? I think it was this. Damn. I, I must have, since Kate left the party early with Nathan, I should search for texts, locations, and transactions in the evening. It's 10 p.m. Oh, this is rough. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. What trying to do here? Oh, fuck me. Alright, so this was at 623. Right, this one was at 536. I could have swore I picked the earliest time on all of these. So, this infamous party was the fourth. 
Yeah. So this infamous party was the fourth. Which is why I picked this one, because this was at 5.30, so I figured like that'd be the prep. Yeah, let's look if I deselect that. I'm so sorry, stream. And YouTube for later. Yeah, that was at night. That was not correct. Alright. So, that was him getting the shit ready. I f still feel like that's right. So if we look at this, it's 10 p.m. 3 a.m., but it's on the 7th. 10. Or the 7th. 11 p.m. The 7th. So it's this one. one of these is during the afternoon. It's okay. Thanks, Patty. I hope it's fun watching this. And then this one right here. 623. Those clues are not related. How are they not related? What about this one? Max, just match the right text message with the right account book entry. Then you'll finally discover where Nathan took Kate. Okay. Oh, am I being fucking dumb again? No, that's... Alright, fucking... Kill me now. All right, 10.34. Maybe that's the time we need here. I like this game too, but I didn't think I'd have to think this much. Maybe it was getting gas. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Alright, that's a little too early. Please. Oh, fucking thank God. Chloe. I feel dumb. This AF. is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. Gigi is I'm right. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't it trust anybody like 20 minutes. except each other. Not really, it was like so we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. Stop. I feel like we're this we're close to finding so Rachel. Much. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Oh, did I get a new follower that I didn't realize? Because I see Gamer Queen AJ. I'm sorry if I didn't realize that you followed me. Didn't this is scary. Weird. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Wait, Patty, did you see Gamer Queen AJ pop up? Whoa, 
Check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? I found the front door. Come on. Well, why does it have to be choppy right now? Please go back to not being choppy. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. Oh, I didn't God, look around at is all. this way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. Maybe I'll find a flashlight or a med kit a inside, louder, right, Patty? Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. This tractor has paid its dues. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Any pictures I can take here? Oh yeah, Warren texted me. Yes. Oh, probably could have gotten that outside. My dummy ass. Is there a skeleton with a skateboard around here? No more secrets. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. <laughs> I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. So I had a Dead by Daylight reference and now a Friday the 13th reference in here. Ah, the good old days. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. Chloe would make a great detective, too. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. <clears throat> so, I looked at all this stuff. Oh, great. Oh, let me search. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Secret shot, Prescott. Ground. Just rotting wood. Hey, Feck, can I use this now? If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. I feel like that's a platform. Damn, lots of info here. Oh, I should have been looking at the ground this whole time. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Threats. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. I don't know. Maybe she can. Time okay, to... Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. 
Alright. <clears throat> I need tools. I should go upstairs and get Chloe to help me. Platform. Okay. <coughs> Excuse Chloe, me. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Super Max. I dig having minions. She should just jump right down to it. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. That's the spirit. It just looks sturdy. Do not fall. Yeah, because then you can't rewind if you're, you know, injured. Hmm. Yes, Condor, I've been live for that long. If you want to challenge Patty, you can. Or if you're playing Siege, you won't be paying attention. Here's the other end of the rope. Well, yeah. Hey, Chloe. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. Doing I'm all over this. Bleh. I will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Alrighty. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Please be careful up there, Max. Don't you worry. Good evening, Doctor Who. Sorry, Max. Use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Oh. I always forget, like, when to use the rewind and when, like, it's fine if you don't. Because I always forget that she also gets to stay in the same spot. Okay. Talk about heavy metal. I could use that to open the hatch. All right, but now it's unattached on her side. So... Wait, how did I do it the first time? Okay, right. Hey, Chloe. Don't you mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, she's gonna pull it. Max Giver strikes again. Now, can you slide down that like a badass? A bunker. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Please tell me there's not a dead body down there. This bunker is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Oh fuck. How do I find this number? <sighs> this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Hey, new picture. Files, farmhouse. No, I want that. 
things. What if I just like uh, totaled this up? So. I'm just doing this on my calculator, cause I don't fuck it. Oh shit, that's all right. So three <coughs> plus that. No, cause that's. Too big of a number? I didn't think it would be. How am I entering this in wrong? It's so freaking easy. Nope, I'm entering it in right. So it's not that. Cocaine, I like that. Maybe it's the two dollars. Wrong code. <clears throat> it's not just gonna be written somewhere, unless it is. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. I still got the haystack over here that I can look at for no reason. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Any ideas, Patty, on where the number will be? Talk about home on the range. Now that's a serious door. So this is what we have from this. Alright, so three dollars, three seventy-five. For some reason, I was entering one number in wrong. I was fucking everything up and I was really confused. Please be right. Oops. Fuck. Bad code. Can you, can you help me out here, Chloe? Please. Come on, Max. Break that digi code. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Yep, sorry. Is there any photo opportunities I could at least get here? Loki, though, 
thought we were gonna be outside. I guess not. Serious door. Where's Gandalf when I need him? Fuck, I'm a dumbass. I could just pick the numbers that are used the most. Oh no, it didn't work. Okay, so it's locked. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. I don't know why I did it that way. Oh, pink, pink. Okay, so it's locked. Yes. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. You can oh, do it, God. Max. You locked it, dumbass. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. <sighs> Wrong code. Okay, so it starts with okay, five. Okay, so it's locked. Some numbers look faded, so Stop saying that, Max. I just have to get lucky. Some, Some numbers, numbers look, look faded, faded, so yeah. I just have to get lucky. Jesus, I had to go to the oh, yes. last fucking code. I to thought get that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Hey, chat, how's it going? Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Oh, so much stuff. What like the that. hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Jesus, I hate this place. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Ooh, a letter. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Uh. Just kind of sp speed read that. Duct tape. Hmm. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Wait, Condor, you didn't mean to do what? I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh, look at all this weird shit. What? What? <sighs> that son of a bitch. How much was it? Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. It's a lot of money. Talk about tortured. Note. Look at the note. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Told you never to use your phone, stick to the- oh, interesting. Back. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Oh. Let's see what's in here. Fuck. Oh my god. No. Jesus, I already hate this place. 
Get, fucking get over here! What are you doing? I don't want to search that. Oh god. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Victoria? Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh, I think no, that's why she pulled it out. No, God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh. Fuck. Oh my god. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Come on. Time to save Victoria's life. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Okay, time to look for some other stuff before we go. This shit just got real. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Is there already, like, sabotage? So who's using this fancy tripod? These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody likes their whiskey. This is, you know, fucked up. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. You know, if you steal some, you can, you know, stab him at the party later. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Well, that was fucking weird. I'm so sorry. 
I loved her so much! How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <laughs> I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Sorry. I'm back. My phone app crashed and it was muted and then I wasn't able to say anything. But now I can. Uh, what the fuck was that? I honestly thought she was gonna be alive and just like, hidden somewhere. But no, Rachel is fucking dead. And it's buffering and stuttering more now. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Awesome. What? Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. All right, re we Where really have he? to go. I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Yes. Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey, I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know, I'm pain in the booty. Just one Come picture. Come on, hurry the fuck uh, up. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass Max, kicked. come on. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. 
contact soon. Oh, it's being real fucking stuttery. And then fine. It's God, it's weird. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? I know Why does Nathan is. creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me know what. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Uh, anything unusual? I don't fucking care. Do you notice anything her? unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yeah, yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. All right, well, that's good. Hey, bitch.
Hang on. Let's just bring it to medium for a second. That'll be hard to do when Prescott's. Why is it always her? Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only, okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Hey, Max! Uh, what, what are you doing in here? Yo, Maximum Overdrive! About time you got here to save this lame raid. I'm sorry, my stream has been really bad. Ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Uh, ask about Nathan. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags, especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense, and your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin, and I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Good night, sweet prince. Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Like or both. Ugh, Max. I'm never leaving this toilet. This is my last right. vortex club. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Well, that didn't help at all. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. So I don't know why they like sneak around. God, are you mental? You can't come in.
doing in here? We've already discussed this. If I get sick now, I can drink more later. What's this cup doing? Also, why can't I look at that? I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Ugh, hmm. Gross. How did this even get here? Chloe must be around. Can he not move out of the way so I can walk through a door? The tide is turning. Ooh. Not anymore. Is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. I heard they wouldn't like So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? Why? Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. I was in a hurry. 
Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. Uh, Trevor, I guess. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Sure. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich, and rich, and a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit Oof. list. Oof, yeah. Should I warn her? Yes. But we'll see. Victoria, your picture. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I'm not. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent. You have talent, I don't feel like getting into an argument with Jefferson You don't have to right push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choice. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Uh, not enemies. Maybe, but... Who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Yes. I'm fucking warning her. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her something dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Wait, what? Weird, 
butt cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. Thank you. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. She wasn't a cunt. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. I'm glad I warned her. Max, look at you go, girl! Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. How you doing, Patty? What does Victoria say about him? She blows it off, but Vic is close with me. They're more like brother sister. Or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last vortex club party by Nathan. So, you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. Good. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Damn it. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide him. Oh, he made it. Oh, uh, why? Hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the. Uh, I don't think he cares about it. Kate's situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Get the hell out of here, Max. Hopefully now that there's less lights, or whenever there's less lights, hopefully my stream will okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph, and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. Thanks. Thank and Max. I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Thank you, Victoria. Big surprise. Thank you.
I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now! Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. I feel like this is a longer episode. Oh Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Let me walk forward. There we go. I, I don't like this right now. I'm spooked. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Where's Chloe going? So creepy out here. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, fuck, behind you, maybe? Oh, oh god damn it. <gasps> Chloe! Look out. What the fuck? What? No, 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 no. Chloe. What the fuck? How am I supposed to rewind? Wait, what? That's not who I expected. What the fuck is going on? That's it? That's fucking it? Mmm. The fuck? People said they decided to kill her. What the fuck? All right. Uh. Oh, she could have killed him. Jesus. Yeah, that would have been better if no one got hurt. Good. Good. Rip those people that didn't fucking warn her. Wait, I could have prevented it from dying? Okay. Are those the people that let Kate die? Because, like, she actually couldn't help? Are those, like, people 
that I couldn't. And she decided not to <clears throat> help them, excuse me. Oh, interesting. I didn't know I could have motivated him. Wonder how that would have changed. Oh, I could have wrote cute. I really wish I wrote it down. <laughs> Rip. I help her every time. That's not different. Sorry if that was too loud, but really, what the hell? Alright, well... I guess that concludes another episode of Life is Strange. Um... I'm gonna roll the credits real quick. Once I can figure it out. And then, I guess I'll see you guys next week at 3.30 or 5, whatever time I have for work, to see what happens in episode 5. See you guys later. Thank you to um, Gamer Queen AJ who followed me two days ago. Thank you to Patty Quinn for hosting me. And thank you for Wizard Maid, or Wiser Maid, which is Shannon, for following me. And see you guys next week.